Hello everyone, this is Colin once again. I'm making this video because I just watched a video from a YouTube user on here named Hunter Avalone. Uh, I occasionally watch Hunter because ever since the recent US presidential election, I find myself uh, wanting to look at politics from different perspectives. And so uh, Hunter, uh, from what I can tell, is a Trump supporter. Uh, he and I would not disagree on, I'm sure, a number of things politically, uh, but that's uh, not why I'm making the video. In fact, I'm not making the video about because of politics. Um, he made a video recently where he is talking about his own uh, issues with Christianity, and uh, I always enjoy seeing people make videos where they're talking about a shift in their spiritual paradigm. Uh, and one thing that I really appreciate about Hunter's video was um, he brought in a, a what I thought was an unexpected uh, element to his discussion about his spiritual journey, and that was he talked about his own um, struggles with what he called OCD um, or anxiety. And I thought it was a very brave video. I mean, he didn't have to make the video. I really don't think his audience um, necessarily, I mean, he, he doesn't, you know, from what I've seen, I haven't watched every single one of his videos, but he's on a list of more right-leaning um, channels that I occasionally watch, even though I don't consider myself leaning to the right. But, uh, you know, he, his channel isn't religious. Uh, his channel is social and political commentary. And uh, I, so I felt like he could have just kept that to himself. But I actually thought it was really uh, brave of him to fire up the camera and take some time to actually talk about genuine issues that he has, that he's been struggling with in terms of what I, what I would call Orthodox Christianity. Um, he spent a good amount of time talking about his uh, relationship with other Christians some of the hypocrisy he was seeing and some of the behavior and attitudes that uh, Christians have had towards him, towards other people, um, people he's interacted with because of his YouTube channel. Um, he's talked about being a very devout Christian, reading the Bible pretty consistently, and then starting to question things about the Bible and about the beliefs that some Christ Christians have. He criticized pretty heavily the notion of creationism um, in light of the scientific evidence. And so I found myself really appreciating his honesty and his reflections. And so I'm making this video um, not because I want to convince Hunter of, of anything, but that this is indeed a trend that I have noticed with younger folks who um, are struggling with religion or with a spiritual identity because we live in a day and age where there's so much information. We know so much about the religion of, of our upbringing. And we also know a lot of information about the theology and about the scripture and the uh, historical context and the history of the development of the religion. And because we have access to all this information, we also see that it runs up against perceived trouble when it comes to science. Now, the reason why I want, uh, I want to get to my point here is I would encourage Hunter and other folks like Hunter to not get stuck in this either-or option, the blue or the red pill option that some people think is your only option. What I mean by that is um, I sort of I got the sense from basically what Hunter said in his video that you know, it's either believing in Christianity or atheism. <laughs> and it, I, it really doesn't have to be quite so either or. Um, there are ways to be spiritual or to even believe in God or to experience the transcendent, the transpersonal, without being a Christian, without even being an Orthodox Christian. I mean, you could be um, a heretical Christian, you could be a neo-Christian, you could be more of a mystically inclined Christian. I, I don't really know how spiritual Hunter is. I, I, would, I would be curious to know more details about 
um, outside of the Christian label or the uh, the atmosphere in which he was raised in, how does he consider himself in terms of spirituality? Um, if he's more of a of a objective sensation type, to use Meyer Briggs terminology, then perhaps he's not mystically inclined, or at least is not naturally. It doesn't come naturally to him. But I also want to impress upon people like Hunter to consider looking at scripture from a literary perspective. Look at it as sacred narrative, as opposed to having to take it literally as scripture, um, as dogma. Um, consider it from a psychological point of view. Look at the works of Freud and Jung and Eric Fromm, and consider religion and spirituality from that perspective, the humanistic psychology perspective, like Abraham Maslow and Roberto Asagioli. Um, the mythologist Joseph Campbell. These are all other options, is what I'm trying to say. Um, so I've been there myself. I mean, I remember when I began to doubt first Roman Catholicism and then Islam, uh, there was sort of that moment where you feel like you got to jump from one thing to, to another thing really fast. And what I would encourage Hunter to do, and others like him who are in this particular situation, you know, you don't need to jump to another thing really fast. So in other words, you don't need to suddenly say, okay, fine, I'm not a Christian anymore, and then jump to being an atheist. If you land there, power to you, you know, whatever. <laughs> but I would encourage you to kind of maybe think about what are some of the middle ground things that you could study and read. Uh, I get the sense that Hunter, I think, is probably in community college, or maybe he goes to a four-year university. I think he's a college student. Um, so granted, uh, you know, <laughs> being a college student myself, uh, there's a lot of reading you got to do. Um, but we are approaching summer, and uh, you might have an opportunity to uh, engage with some psychology or some spirituality text. Um, you know, uh, two books right off the top of my head that I would recommend to you, Hunter, and to, and to others watching is Memories, Dreams, Reflections by Carl Jung, the Swiss psychoanalyst who talks a lot about spirituality and religion from a psychological point of view, and also The Hero with a Thousand Faces by Joseph Campbell, the uh, late mythologist who, again, looked at religious symbolism and mythological symbolism, uh, but didn't look at it as a literal, um, didn't do literal readings of the text. Um, so yeah, uh, I would appreciate your comments below uh, if you have uh, any additional thoughts on this subject. Uh, Hunter, if you would like to contact me directly, or perhaps if you would like to have a discussion either privately or record it for the people to see, uh, I would invite you to do that. Um, on my own channel, uh, I regularly interview people who have gone through religious or spiritual transforma transformations or changes, and it would be cool to have you as an additional person uh, in that context. So that's all for me for now. Thank you all for watching. Peace be with you all.